Hey guys, welcome to the second lesson of the course. Now, remember that this is what we are going to create. So, on the previous lesson, I just told you how to morph things on After Effects, but you will see that morphing numbers is a bit more complicated because the shapes are more irregular. So, let's begin with the morphing. The first thing that we're going to do is to create a text layer or just gra grab your text tool and click on your canvas and we're going to make a countdown from 5 to 1 which means 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 so I'm going to start with the 5 here and instead of this font I'm going to use a font called Cubano that I like very much because it has rounded edges you can see the corners are rounded and I'm going to change the size a lot let's set it to 500 pixels or maybe a little bit less let's try 450 okay this is fine now you can go to align and align this number okay now I'm going to create some duplicates of this and I'm going to change this to 4 make sure it's aligned this is really important that the numbers are aligned on into the the canvas another duplicate and let's change this to 3 we align again this will, would be 2 one and we can throw zero two all right so we have five four three two one zero now you can see that these are text layers so this doesn't really have a path you can see that we can change the path but we won't be able to morph because this is text so we need to create to convert these layers into shape layers and how do we do that this is actually quite simple just take one of these layers you can do this with all selected take for example five and double and right click on the layer go to create and click on create shapes from text. Now you have this layer called five outlines which is the same layer the same five layer but this is outline so that means that this is a shape that you can alter however you want you can even change the anchor points as you want. Now we won't be doing that right now you c if you want you can delete your text layer and repeat the same process for all of these other layers remember right click create create shapes from text now delete all the red ones which are the text layers and we will keep only the outlines alright now we can begin with the morphing here's what we are going to do open your five outlines contents and you will have the path here it's called five and path 
Now, I want to create an animation where it goes from 5 to 4, 3, 2, 1. The idea would be that it takes one second to get to the other, but I want to, this animation to be a little faster, so I'm going to click here on the stopwatch on the first frame and I'm going to move to the first second and move this keyframe here because I want it to have a little offset I don't want the animation to start right away I want a little bit of time to see the 5 and then go to 4, 3, 2, 1 so I'm going to move to second 2 and I'm going to open the 4 outlines path and I'm going to copy this path you can see that we have selected this path I'm going to copy this into the number 5 path now you can delete the 4 outlines and you will see the transition here. Now you can see that th this transition isn't as smooth as we tried before with the rectangle and the stars. You can see that it, it gets really messy, especially in this point. You can see how the the parts intercept each other and this is this isn't nice. This isn't is not a good morphing effect. It's it doesn't look as smooth. So we're going to fix that, but first I want to create all the morphing effects before starting to fixing everything. So I have the 5 and the 4, I'm going to move one second away and I'm going to copy the 3 path, copy into this path. So I have 5, 4, 3, delete this. copy the path oops have to move one second one more time and one final path and I'm going to leave it on on one because otherwise it will take too much time so we have these transitions from 5 to 4, 3, 2, 1 and you can see that these are completely messy so we need to fix all these transitions so that they look smooth enough so this is where it gets a little tricky so pay close attention to what I'm going to do first I don't want them to to morph from 5 to 4 directly I want this to be a different shape first you can see on the preview you can see that they don't go to from 3 to 2 directly but they become a different shape to begin so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to turn off this for now and I'm going to create a new shape layer and I'm going to take the pe pen tool and I'm going to draw a very simple shape you can draw anything that you want make sure that it's irregular can be something like this it's just like a, a very simple spot here on After Effects now open up your path on the five outlines we can call these numbers because it's not only five right now now open your shape layer and go to the path now move in between the 5 and the 4 which is here and take the path from the shape layer
copy and paste it here now this can happen you can see that we pasted the shape layer but somehow it pasted here down below so this won't work for us of course we need it to be aligned with the rest of the numbers so I'm going to go here and with the selection tool I'm going to move it where the numbers are like this and now we have the correct shape Now you can see that the morphing is still looking really bad. So I'm going to fix that. But I'm going to do that on the next lesson so that we don't take so much time into one single lesson. So see you on the next lesson.